Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Sean Anderson, Most Valuable Podcast, and we're kicking off our Week 15 previews with a Saturday game. Brandon, we're not usually not used to these Saturday games, but we have the Miami Dolphins going to New York, or, well, New Jersey, and they're taking on the New York Jets. What are your keys for the Dolphins? What are your keys for the Jets? And can the Jets keep this win streak going? Uh, well, it's not a win streak when you win just one game. It's a win streak when you start at two. Yeah, so can they, well, they won. Can so they get a on streak, a win streak? streak of winning a game. <laughs> okay. Well, first for the Miami Dolphins, they're not on a, a losing streak. A, a tough loss for Ryan Tan with with Ryan Tannehill, and thank goodness that it's it's not a tear mm-hmm. and just a sprain, a possibility to be able to come back later on in the season if they are going to be in the playoffs, which this team still has an opportunity to do that with a huge win this past weekend against the Arizona Cardinals, and and part of that. Part of that actually was because of Matt Moore coming in a huge pass to Kenny Stills that set up the game-winning field goal. And I think that if Matt Moore can make some plays like that and not turn the football over, that's going to be the biggest thing. And I think it's also going to be relying on that running game. Again, I've said this before in the past. I think maybe last week or the last couple of weeks. It's Jay Ajayi. Where is he at? I mean, I don't think uh, the Cardinals, a a decent uh, run defense and, and a decent defense in general actually one of the better ones but lately it hasn't been that great they've given up a lot of points but I I think that again not turning the football over for the Dolphins and and establishing a strong running game is going to be big for Miami and we saw what Carlos Hyde did last week against the New York Jets he gashed them uh, for a new career high over 190 rushing yards by himself so I think that things are looking up for Jay Ajayi in this matchup. And on the other side for the New York Jets, Bilal Powell looks really, really good running over uh, San Francisco's defense. Two run Everyone defenses does, that aren't, aren't very yeah. good in the Jets and then San Francisco. But Bilal Powell actually has looked very, very good, better than Matt Forte. Matt Forte, I think, is possibly done. I, I, he has that knee injury, might be out again this week. Not sure on an update for him. But uh, I, I say just keep him out because Matt Forte – Lately hasn't been able to do a whole lot for you. You've actually been going Bilal Paul more. So I would say him and Bryce Petty, the best game I've seen him play so far. Again, for him, young quarterback, don't turn the football over. And, and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be conservative. Take a look at Alex Smith. He isn't always conservative. Sometimes he'll take a shot down the middle of the field. But he doesn't turn the football over a whole lot. And I think that that's what Bryce Petty wants to try and do, not turn the football over and allow your chance uh, your team a chance to to win the football game and kind of put that back on the defense as you know hold this for us as well I'm, I mean I may only be able to put up 14 17 points something like that but then hold it and I think that that's what their defense is going to have to do they're going to try and have to be a little bit more stout than they were last week against the run because that was ridiculous but I think that in this one I feel good about the Miami Dolphins and I'm going to say that the Dolphins end up winning in this one uh 21 21- to 14 they get the win the miami dolphins uh get a big win over the new york jets on saturday night don't forget to tell us what you think of this matchup down below in the comments don't forget to like subscribe and check out patreon.com slash most valuable podcast but we will see you next time